button. Hey Woodcasters, welcome back to the barn. Today I want to show you what I'm working on. This is my latest and greatest machine. What I'm doing is I'm developing a gas station light. Okay, And all that means is I've taken out the primary cooler. If you have an application like a 4 kilowatt generator, you've got more than enough cooling with the cyclone cooler and the uh, final filter cooler to cool your gas down. So, you know, if I get rid of that primary cooler, it's all good and I can save some people some money. I can take a few hundred bucks off. So let's go through this thing. Standard Victoria, nothing new, nothing's changed here. Still got the tar flare, everything's looking great there. Standard uh, cyclone cooler down here. My goal is to bring the gas temperature down to 300 Fahrenheit by the outlet. Now you notice I got this little jog? That's kind of new. But what I'm doing there is I'm dry cycloning. I do not want condensation in the cyclone. After talking to Luke and Pascal last year and they challenged me to do a hot cycloning, I like the results. So from now on, everything I do is going to be hot cycloned, hot and dry. But once I get over here to the final filter, if I have 300 degree gas going in, I'm easily going to have condensation on this side. So I put a little dog leg in here, jogged over, and now all my condensate can come down to that little condensate jar right there. And I don't have to worry about mud forming or you know, the tars and the dust condensing together and forming a bad fouling problem in the heat exchangers. Just a, a much cleaner way to go. If I wanted to, I could still break this flange right here and put a nice cooler in it. So, I'm going to take this thing out, fire it up, see how she does, check my temperatures, and uh, I'll post videos later on how she ran. Thanks, guys.